Hello guys, uh, today I want to show you how to install a bucket plugin. And this video is for those of you who have already um, gone ahead and set up their bucket server. And it's um, basically just a, I guess if you will, a vanilla bucket server. There's nothing added on to it yet. And what we want to do is let's add our first plugin. And this is very easy, so don't be afraid. The first thing I'll look up is let's go to Iconomy because that is one of my favorite bucket plugins. And although Iconomy is not really regularly updated anymore, it's still a very useful mod and still unbroken. Um, so let's go to the download link here and download it. Save it to our desktop. And okay, we have iconomy.jar. So what we'll do now in our bucket server uh, folder, we'll go to our plugins folder and move iconomy.jar in there. Now when we start the server with our start server bat file, we will see little notifications for iconomy. When you see info, that's a good thing. When you see like warning or error, can't remember which one it is, uh, that means that there's something wrong and the, the plugin is actually not working. Um, but for now we have it have it on there. Okay, so now let's download a plugin that requires a slightly different uh, installation style. Uh, we're still going to put it in the plugins folder, but we're going to need to unzip this one. So I will go to, I will type in townie into Google. And let's go to the, the main page here, go to townie homepage. And let's see, here we go, latest release. So it looks like the latest release is for 1.5.2 and 1.6.2. Right now we're on 1.6.4, so that's, that's fine. So I'll go ahead and download it now. All right, yep, thanks. Save. Now, normally, here, let's go ahead and stop the server. Normally, when we download a plugin, it'll be a jar file. This time, it's a zip file. This means that what we're probably going to want to do is um, this file right here. We're going to need to open it up with uh, WinRAR. And there are three jar files now that we need to put into our plugins folder. So we'll take those three files, click and drag them into our plugins folder, and there we go. And those are the, the files that uh, Townie needs to run. So what we can do now is go back start our server and what we'll see is in here we're getting <laughs> excuse me messages now that uh, townie is is working and a townie folder has been created and whenever a mod uh, uh, is put in here you have to run the server first in order for it to install itself uh, and then you'll see a folder for it where you have configuration files and data files and whatnot um, so yeah, that's that's basically how you install a plugin. It's very easy. If you do have any questions though, please put them in the comments.